And we're back with some more RimWorld testing slash, well, training. And today we're going to be training up the medical skill, or what's the fastest, most efficient way to train up your medical skill, and what kind of levels you want to aim for. I mean, the uh, the overarching goal here is not just to get your medical skill really high. You can do that in time if you want. It's really a case if you want to get your medical skill high enough that you can start putting bionic parts onto your colonists. That's really the end goal here. So what's the minimum amount you want, and what's the fastest way to get there? Well, here we have a patient. Uh, an involuntary patient and what we're doing right now is we are cutting off their peg leg and as we cut off their peg leg here you can see on the medical we're currently at 838 experience of 8000 and this one simple operation will bring us up to 4,700 about 4,000 points of experience bearing in mind this is only somebody who's got just like one point of interest so you can you can increase that bonus by quite a bit but it's also maxed out our learning for the day However, the great thing about this is, uh, the moment this person recovers tomorrow, we can put the leg back on. It's the next day, and it's time to start the next operation. All we're doing this time again is we're just putting the leg back on. And complete, done, and dusted. And how's our bio looking again? We're up to 7,753. Okay, well, medical, medical, and more medical. This is how you train it up. Just chop off someone's legs and put them back on again. Well, one at a time. I know this is pretty dark, but it is RimWorld. All you're doing is removing it and putting it back on, though there is one thing you might want to look out for when you're looking for uh, sample prisoners to try this on. If they've got the frail trait. The frail trait is very useful because if you check over here on moving, oh, we'll have to wait till the anesthetic wears off. Well, with the anesthetic gun, you'll see that their moving here is at zero. The reason being is they have no leg and a peg leg and frail all combined with all three of those at the same time it reduces their moving to zero, which means they can never have a mental break. Meaning, okay, you, the downsides of this is you will have to feed them because they'll constantly be in bed and can't get out and you'll have, madly have to go and give them food, but eh, they're prisoners, this happens. But you can keep chopping off their leg and putting it back on again and they won't mind at all, not even a little bit. Yes, very dark, but it works. Additionally, the ailment frail gives a minus 30% to moving as well, meaning they will also be incapacitated. So if you find someone who's frail or has a bad back, they make perfect candidates for medical training. If they don't have it, well, you'll just have to deal with mental breaks more often from the prisoner. But, you know, what can you do? Uh, as well as that, even if your pawn does fail in performing the operation, they'll still gain a bunch of medical experience. So it doesn't even matter. <laughs> it if you succeed or not. so But it would be a nice idea to keep the place nice and clean and keep them in a nice surgery so that they're more likely to survive because if you do mess it up, you may accidentally kill the test subject. I mean, patient, I mean, prisoner, whatever. The, the point being, maybe keep them alive, keep the place clean and do the surgeries as much as you want and you can level up the skills in your pawns as quickly as you want. Now, how high do you want to take the skill before you can start, you know, installing bionic parts on your pawns with a minimal amount of risk necessary? The first thing to realize about medicine is there's a built-in 2% failure rate. As in, no matter how high you get your percentage chance of success, for example, in here their surgery success is, uh, here we are, 110%. Uh, they have a maxed out bio of 20 medical. Uh, they're just, yep, they have a perfect value of making sure that all of their operations are going to succeed. However, even though they've got 110 medical success chance, they've got Glitter World Medicine, yeah, they're still going to fail 2% of the time because it's just hard-coded in that no matter what, you will always have a potential chance to fail. Right here we have 100 doctors, 100 patients, and 100 bionic legs about to be installed. Ah, up here you can see in the top left, the doctor has failed in a minor way while operating. Yeah, so two of the actual operations failed. It, it's just going to happen no matter how good your chances are. After testing that 10 times, we get an average percent of 2.1. So, you know, almost pretty much spot on. Each one. Of, so this is a, effectively testing over a thousand operations, roughly what you get. Now let's test a few other things. This here is a doctor set to a medical of 14. This gives them a 98% chance of success. I've got it, uh, I've used the numbers mod to display it down here just so that I don't constantly have to go digging into the section here. But if you want to go digging into the section here, it is in here if you want to go and have a look and you can check all the things that affect it. We'll cover more on that in a minute. But what I want to cover here is with 98% success, ch ah, success chance, they should be able to do this perfectly as in basic medicine or industrial medicine is neutral. It does not improve or increase or decrease your chances of a successful surgery. And a wooden bed in a sealed room with a roof and a spotlessly clean floor. This room is spotless, by the way. It's all clean. All of them are clean. This wooden bed also gives a 100% to surgery success chance, as in it doesn't increase or decrease your chances at all. The only thing currently affecting the chance of the surgery success right now is the doctor's skill, which is 14, which is a 98% chance, which means we activate this, we do 100 tests, we should end up with about a 2% failure rate as well. Because, well, 2% failure rate is built in, even if you've only got 98% chance of success, 
you'll still end up with about two percent. Okay, that's that's a little bit too perfect. Honestly, they they do vary quite a bit. Sometimes you'll get six failures in one time. Sometimes you'll get zero. But by and large, this is going to even out to about two percent. Let's have a quick look at the numbers. Here is the medical testing for medical 20, 15, 14, 13, and 12. So you can see it's about 2%. This is just the percentages down here for average fails. And you'll see it's about 2%. This one gets down to 1.8. It just, sometimes things get a little bit nicer. But then the moment we hit 13 medical, that's when the percentage chance of someone succeeding drops below the 98%. And you get about, I think it was 96. So once you get to that percentage, yeah, you can see that we're starting to get an increase. And the moment we hit 12, we're getting a, a lot more failures. So if you just have a normal wooden bed in a normal wooden room with a normal wooden floor that's perfectly clean and you're using basic industrial medicine, you can have a level 14 doctor perform the operations and their success rate will be just as high as someone in the state-of-the-art hospital. So it's actually quite easy to do it without too much effort. Before we get into glitter world medicine, go juice and wake up and things like that, let's have a quick look at the beds and how they affect everything. From left to right here, we've got, well, in the middle here, this is the normal beds. And then on the left, we've got the well, awful poor. On the right, we've got good, excellent, masterwork and legendary. Uh, so these beds in here are all made of steel or wood. All these ones down here are made of, well, the stone type materials. Stone type materials, just uh, they're not as comfortable and don't give as good a, a benefit to, what you might call it? sleep. So a restfulness, so the rest effectiveness is decreased. However, their surgery chances is here appear to be exactly the same. So it doesn't really matter what you make the bed out when it comes to stone, steel, wood, that type of stuff for surgery success chances. The rest effectiveness, not so good. Anyway, let's uh, put a quick wall around this because you'll notice the surgery success chance is 51%. And you can see over here all the things that are affecting it. But the first thing to realize is, yes, don't do surgery out in the open. Immediately put a wall around the building. Putting a wall around the building and nothing else, we have literally having to put a roof on or flooring. And it ups the chances from about 50% to 78%. Uh, next thing you want to do is put on put in a floor and some roofing. Once you put on a floor and some roofing, you'll notice that it's still not getting the 100% we've got in our test area. That's because of light. Because of the light multiplier, we're getting that final mm, loss. So we're not getting the full 100% on our normal bed. So if we stick in a light, the addition of that light means that we now get the 100% we had we have in our test area. So to have a successful operation, make sure you've got a nice clean room, make sure it's floored, make sure it's roofed, and make sure you've got a light source nearby. Light sources reach pretty far and you only need about 50% light. So if you'll check over here, even this one on the far side, it's surgery success chance from light. Yeah, light, the light level is maxed out. Uh, the thing to note here is normal beds or wooden beds, steel, whatever you make them out of, they'll have a surgery success chance of 100% at normal. Uh, hospital beds, they basically have, they're two levels above. So an excellent wooden bed will have 110% surgery success chance. A normal hospital bed, which is two levels behind that, will also have 110% surgery success chance. Now, when it came to doing all this testing, I couldn't put in excellent beds or test all of those because unfortunately, when it comes to this, uh, if you just place a normal bed, like build a copy, it will always be normal no matter what you do. I couldn't even blueprint it out, so I effectively had to stick with normal beds. But the simplest way to figure this out is, let's say we have an excellent wooden bed or a normal hospital bed, you'll see that its success chance is 110%. That 110% seems to be just added to whatever the success rate of your doctor is. So if we take a doctor here like this one, they have a 94% surgery success chance. If we were to give them a normal hospital bed to work with, that will add 10% to their chance, meaning that 94% uh, they currently have would go up to 104. Which means if in theory we were to decrease their medical skill down a little bit, uh, they're 90. if we put their medical at 10 and we give them a normal hospital bed or an excellent wooden bed, that would give them a 100% surgery success chance. However, does the actual testing back that up? Here's the results from level 12 medical with a medical bed, a level 11, level 10, level 9, all the way across the top there. And there's the percentages that came in. Now, if it comes in at under 2%, you can just, there's going to be some variance in the numbers here. Even with a thousand operations to work with, there's going to be some uh, problems. So medical 10 worked out, it's still 2.4%. But the moment we hit medical 9, and medical 9, if we check here, if we go down to level 9, that will drop us to 85%, plus 10% from the bed means 95%. So we sure it'll be looking at about a 5% failure rate. Yeah, that seems to be sort of backed up by that. It, it's it's bad. So if you have level 10 medical and a, a medical bed that's normal or just an excellent wooden bed, like an excellent wooden bed and plus 10 medical on your doctor and you have a clean room to do it in, you can get just as good odds as if you were using, say, you know, level 14 medical or, you know, someone in a perfect state-of-the-art hospital. So it's actually not that hard to get into bionics. And considering the way the, the new patch has gone, well, a lot more bionics that can be added on with lots of benefits and the new questing system making it easier to get your hands on them. This is actually quite attainable quite early on in the game, even with a tribal start. You don't even need a medical bed, just an exit wooden bed. 
wait until some pawn gets a, an inspiration and get them to build, your, build you a really good wooden bed and you're sorted and good to go. Everything so far has been fairly straightforward. You just look at the medical success chance of your pawn, you look at the bonus you're going to get from whatever type of bed you're using, you add the two of them together. If the percentage is 98% or above, then you know that your odds have only got a 2% chance of failure, which is as good as it is ever going to get. However, glitter world medicine is a bit mm, difficult. Uh, according to the wiki, it gives you tells you you should multiply your success chances by 1.6 or something along the lines. However, it didn't work out like that in testing. So instead, I had to do a whole bunch of testing here just to randomly see what would happen if it and whether it failed and how low we could go before things actually went above the 2% mark. The results from it are you can go down, assuming you have just a normal wooden bed and a level 9 medic, you can still get about the same percentage chances, odds of any perfectly enhanced hospital. If you can find just one piece of glitter medicine to go to whatever bionic or arcotech or whatever you manage to get your hands on that you're really intent on installing early on in the game, then yes, glitter tech, a level 9 medic and a, a normal wooden bed will do you just fine. However, if you're willing to spring not just for the uh, me glitter world medicine, but also for the excellent bed or a, a normal hospital bed, you can go down as low as 8 medical and still get a successful, like have 2% or less of your operations fail or 2% of your operations fail on average. The moment you go down to level 7, it gets a little bit iffy, it seems. Before we go any further, though, I'd like to have a quick look at flooring because people always go put a lot of sterile tile in your hospitals. However, the effect is actually really minuscule. For example, if you check over here, you can actually see the effect of flooring on the surgery success chances. You'll see it's indoor quality room cleanliness, 100%. So the final value works out at 100%. However, if we were to say install steel tile, steel tile is not the same as sterile tile. It's actually slightly weaker, but it is a cleaner version of the floor. For example, here we've got a cleanliness level of zero. Over here, we've got a cleanliness level of 0.2 and over here, a cleanliness level of 0.6 or 0 0.2 and 0 0.6 because it's sterile tile. However, if we just click here on this bed and we check its surgery success, it's up by 1%. The uh, reason being the room cleanliness has added that extra 1%. So if you add in steel tile to your room, you'll get a 1% bonus to your surgery. However, if you just upgraded the bed from normal to good, you'd get a 5% bonus to your surgery. So the quality of the bed has a far greater effect on the surgery success chances than the floor. And sterile tile, that increases the surgery success chance by 2%. So yes, you're far, far, far better going around getting a, a better bed for your surgeries than you really needing to care about the floor. However, when it comes to the cleanliness of the room, it is absolutely essential. When I say absolutely essential, I mean, when I started off testing, I had a lot of iffy results. Uh, the reason being when the doctors would start off, they'd have to walk over and pick up some medicine. And when they did that, there was always a uh, small percentage chance they can generate trash. Any trash they generated would make the room dirty, which really messed with the results and made things horrible. I had to install a mod to get rid of dirt and trash. Otherwise, I had to go through each room individually after the doctors had started to find out if there was any dirt on the floors. Yes, it was time consuming, so the mod saved an awful lot of effort. I'll put a list of the mods at the end if you want to see what one mods I'm running to try and do all this testing. And finally, we have the vitals monitor. It adds a, f a flat plus 5% surgery success chance. However, I would like to point out here, when it comes to researching things, smithing is all you need to get steel tile. You can get steel or silver tile with smithing, which is very low down in the tech tree. But if you want to get sterile tile, you've got to start going all the way up here. Sterile tile is over here, locked behind electricity. It's also 600 points. Uh, hospital beds are over here, which is also quite a bit further down the tech tree. And vitals monitor is all the way down here. So if you're trying to get bionics installed early, you're not going to have access to these anytime soon. And even then, you don't really need them. An excellent bed and a half-decent doctor with some glitter world medicine can do work wonders. But there's also other options. You can increase the, uh, the abilities of your doctors by feeding them drugs. Here we have a doctor with level 4 medical, level 14 medical. This allows them to do have a 98% success chance at surgery. However, if we drop that down a few levels and make them a substandard doctor at 10, they've only got a 90% chance. That means 1 in 10 operations are going to fail. What we can do is we can pop over here and we can add a little something. High on wake up. Wake up gives them a little bit of a bonus to their perception and a few other things. And now their surgery success chance has just jumped up to 99%. Their consciousness has improved. Their manipulation has improved. All of that, is, that has helped them become better surgeons. So if we go back to their bio here, we can actually drop them down to, if we drop them down to nine, they'll hit 94%. So a, a level, a pawn with level 10 medical high on wake up can do a perfect operation, assuming a normal bed. Remember, uh, an excellent bed though will add plus 10. 
So an excellent bed and level nine medical and you'll still be able to do it. In fact, a good bed gives you a plus five bonus to your surgery. So that would mean you'd have about a 99% chance of success. So wake up actually adds quite a bit of a benefit. However, I should point out in testing, um, yes, there was a few heart attacks. <laughs> there's, a, there's a little bit of a chance of a heart attack when you're taking wake up. So yes, some of the doctors didn't last, but however, it was a very small percentage, but that is a possibility if you do take wake up. It also comes with the chance of addiction now. Due to the recent patch, taking wake up even once can result in addiction instantly, so it's not really that great. If you desperately need, though, to get a bionic part on someone, it is an option now. With level 9 medical, they've only got a 94% success chance. However, if we were to, say, remove the high on wake up and instead add, let's just say, some go juice, this immediately jumps their surgery success chance up to 102%, namely because their consciousness got a 20% boost and their manipulation got a 120% or 20% boost as well. This means we can now go back into the bio and if we crank it down, I think it's what, yeah, if we put it on a level eight, it goes down to 96%, which means they'll start failing around level eight. But if you give them a good hospital bed, let's say, they can go down as low as seven medical and give them a an excellent wooden bed. And next thing you know, they're still able to do perfect surgeries. Now, do the numbers back all of this up? I ran a bunch of testing. Let's have a quick check. As we can see here, level 10 medical with wake up and boom, no problems at all, 1.3%. The moment we go down to level nine though, as anticipated, our percentages drop way off. Level seven, seven medical with go juice and a bed. Yep, 1.8, not a bother. So if you really desperately need a, a bionic part or some sort of operation, you can go juice up a pawn, and so long as they have an excellent wooden bed, you can you can definitely install Bionics very, very early on in the game if you want to. However, I don't want to just throw the information at you and tell you what to do in what situation, because things will get thrown at you that will be unanticipated. Uh, for example, what happens if someone was to, say, lose a finger? Well, with this finger gone here, even though they've got level 14 medical and they should have a 98% success rate, the loss of that single finger has reduced their success rate to 90% meaning they're going to need at least an excellent bed to go with it. So if you're ever doing an operation, make sure the bone in question doesn't have any reduced consciousness, lost fingers, manipulation problems, consciousness problems, sight problems, that type of thing, or it will affect their success chance. Go in, check their actual success chance in here to make sure you, you've, ah, to find out exactly what's going on. At the same time, once you find out what their medical surgery success chance is, check to see what's the best bed you have in the entire colony. If you can make a better bed, do it. The better the bed is, the bigger the flat percentage chance. And then just add that percentage chance, say it's 110, just add that 10% on to whatever your doctor's got. So long as you've got a 98% chance of success, you're good. Glitter world medicine, hmm. Yeah, I haven't been able to find an exact number as to how much it affects you, but it is quite a potential, well, quite potent. Best I can determine it adds uh, at least a 13% a 13 bonus to your doctor. So just... Uh, as a rule of thumb, maybe uh, consider Glitter World Medicine plus 13%. If someone has more details on Glitter World and any better testing and something that's provable on this, I would really like to know because I haven't been able to isolate exactly what it is that uh, the Glitter World Medicine does in terms of percentages. And the, the wiki just tells you it's a 1.6 multiplier, which is, is it is not. It definitely is not that or it would be far better than it currently is. Anyway, after all of that, I think you should have a good idea how well medicine works and what you can do and that it's actually very easy early on to start installing bionic parts. So long as you're willing to do a few minor operations on some enemies, you can potentially get the, the doctor to do this quite early on in the game. Probably in the first year or two, it should be quite easy. The, ac the actual acquisition of the bionic parts necessary to install, well, it'll depend on what quests come your way and what's available to buy. But hey, if you're running a drug empire, Thing like buying some Arcotech arms and sticking them on your drug producing people to make even more money to buy more drugs with more Arcotech parts and essentially expanding your empire faster. Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed and uh, good luck. Mm -hmm.